It's another Thirsty Thursday. Hillbilly Pit Crew Eric's on his way. And I got a big old announcement right here for you guys. You guys just saw that brand new gear from Quick Performance. I did not buy this thing. Don't want to spill this. But if you guys saw our last video, you guys saw that we had a gear problem. And uh, basically the pinion tooth right here chipped off and broke our case. That's not a case, it's already put away, but the case broke, we got a crack in the cap. And so um, this was sent to us by a viewer, which I'm blown away about something crazy here. Um, he was my friend first and then became a faithful viewer. Anyways, Mr. Kaiser, Tommy Kaiser from South Carolina, um, Kaiser Mechanical Services. If you guys are in the York County area, South Carolina, you know about him already. He is the guru for gears in that area. He might not tell you who he is, but he is the gear guru of that area. He's uh, a magician at building four nine inch gears. And um, he was watching our last video of when we blew it up and he said, hey, what size gear do you need? I'm sending it to your house. People talk about making it, you know, in the YouTube land, you got a couple hundred thousand subscribers, a million subscribers, making all kinds of money on YouTube. Obviously that's not us, but I feel like I've made it because I got people sending us free stuff that are just watching our videos. It's incredible. So Tommy, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're definitely going on the car. Kaiser Mechanical Services. If you guys need a gear built and you're in that area, North Carolina, South Carolina, hit him up. He'll build you a nice, reliable gear set. So anyways, um, I'm gonna get this thing going. Uh, I got one good case left here in my arsenal. So um, I'm gonna clean this guy up a little bit and put the new gear on the spool and build it and throw it back in the car. And that's gonna be the plan is to try to get this thing uh, rolled out of here in the hobby stock back in. And I'm hoping, we're hoping for an early 2023 season to start. Um, with, the, with the gear in this car, it pretty much completes everything we need for it. We just need some laps to turn on this thing. It's running good with the motor. We wanna do a little more tuning on the suspension, but I'm um, hoping for, you know, a California start around here. Maybe February, get some practice races in or something. And uh, just can't say thank you enough, Tommy, for getting this gear. I probably would've slacked on it. I probably wouldn't have had it built. And I would've put our 650 in there that probably is not good for the local tracks around here. So, um, gonna get it to it. Thank you again, Tommy. And uh, don't forget guys, Thursday, Thursday, you know what we're doing. All right, so I've already made a couple of videos before about building these gears, so I'm not gonna show you every step of the way. Um, but a lot of people over the last couple of years are always saying, oh man, it sounds like you're spending too many RPMs in your, your videos. You need to try a, a lighter gear, go down on gear size. So just for everybody's uh, knowledge here, I went down from a 733, this is a 7.0. So basically two steps down on the gear ratio. So gonna hopefully turn a little bit less RPMs and um, see how that does on the track. So, wouldn't be a Thirst Thursday if we weren't having more trouble doing something than we should. It is the most powerful crush sleep I've ever seen in my whole entire life. This thing is like, you know, 17 million pounds of crushing force. I mean, we had Ryan with a power pipe tightening the pinion. I had a power pipe holding on to the vise to keep it from ripping out of the bench. Well, yeah, the vise broke. Don't buy Chinese vices. Where did the vise? Fixable, somehow, probably not. SVL, made in Ohio. Anyways, uh, finally got the gear set up here. Uh, the pattern, we kind of messed around with it all night long, put different shims in, tried different backlash. It's coming out all right. Um, it's about as best as it's going to get, but uh, got the preload on the carry bearings done with our little bicycle torque wrench and inch pounds here. And then Mr. <laughs> Eric took the pinion to work, got the pinion... Uh, got the snap on air here, or uh, air impact tools going. Right, because as you saw, we freaking snapped our vice in half, so he just went to work and put a little bit of pneumatic air gun to it and got it right about 10 inch pounds of pinion bearing preload and we got another 10 here on the carrier bearing so we're sitting on a whole entire rotating assembly uh, torque of 20 inch pounds of rotating torque so 
I think she's ready to go in the car. He's got to go ahead and lock tight everything down and put our little uh, carrier adjuster locks on. All right, so Mr. Eric is under there. Put some RTV on it because we don't pay for gas. It's around here. A uh, little bit of RTV around the bolt holes and got this guy all cleaned up right there. Um, and she's gonna go in in about two seconds from now. So here we go. Good. Now <laughs> the drop performance over now. So you say uh, Brian sprained his thumb real bad. Yeah, my thumb was messed up. Yesterday I sprained my wrist. Same thing. Real bad. A bunch of cripples here at Tracy and Reese. So a bunch of right-handed guys are forced to work with our left hands <laughs> trying to do anything. Hey, the bottom line is she's in and she's ready to rip. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Timmy Kaiser. Exactly. Hot two. So, we had a uh, slight predicament when it came to uh, getting the uh, plug in the side of the gear put in. Because we realized that the Allen key we had, or the Allen socket we had, was not long enough to clear the studs and we didn't put the uh it's not going anywhere just so you guys know it it's not going anywhere see lefty lucy is righty tighty apparently he's not going nowhere still in the same spot the 8000 rpm is not saying it ain't gonna come off <laughs> so you know originally it wasn't long enough to clear the studs so i thought based off work experience to uh to hit the Allen part of the socket, or Allen out of the socket, needless to say, turned it, into a taco. It did not work. We don't have any punches around here. Well, so I'll, that for sure ain't a punch. I tried using a a screwdriver. And that's about what happened. So if you guys are interested in buying a, a clip puller, <laughs> hit us up. We'll sell this for about fifty. 60-ish cents. Snap on price. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> cents, not dollars. Uh, the plug we put in was that exact size right there. It's in. We'll see if it leaks, but it's in. <laughs> it's kind of tight. See, Somewhere you heard tight. that. That was the first not gooten tight on this channel. That was kind of tight. Kind of tight. So, we'll probably fill it up tomorrow after the RTV dries. And on a hope and a prayer, that thing seals. Exactly. What's up, Mr. Chicken? So we've gone from working on race cars to working on passenger cars. This hoopty is Livia's. And got in a little wreck early this morning going to work. We had a pretty good storm the last couple days and it was wet out. And uh, she was doing about 55 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour on the, uh, that's not a freeway, but it's like a, a highway that goes up and over the mountains. Anyways, 4.30 this morning, she was going to work and smashed it up pretty good. She's okay. She's pretty sore. Got a couple bruises on her, um, but could have been a lot worse. So um, very thankful to man upstairs for watching over and everybody out there drives safe. Make sure your seatbelts work. Make sure your airbags work. Uh, she got lucky, so see what I can patch this thing together. She needs obviously two new headlights, and uh, luckily, it looks like it's just kind of cosmetic stuff. Um, didn't touch the radiator or the condenser. All right, we got four quarts of gear oil in it, and I checked down here. Don't see no leaks. The so Eric's RTV job is on point. We're getting the tires back on it. We're gonna get it off the jack stands here with all the clutter on it and uh, fire it up, put a heat cycle on the motor, get it out of here. And uh, pretty much winterize it until we figure out a schedule. We're gonna bring the hobby stock in, 
But before that, I gotta put this uh, this motor on the run stand and break this thing in. And uh, that's pretty much gonna be it. So let me charge this battery up and get back to it. I'm gonna try to erase this install gear. And as I erase, put it right. gonna do it for this video I'm trying to close this thing out here before I go to work today um, but uh, the winterization process has begun we're gonna bring the hobby stock back in and start working on it, and get you guys some videos for the winter and uh, when our schedules come out on the tracks around here we'll get a game plan together on where we're gonna be racing and stuff so that's 2d to be determined at this point I just want to say quickly uh, thanks everybody's been wishing Livia the best on her recovery she just got whiplash real bad and uh, her back and neck area and chest area has been kind of bruised up and stuff but she's doing well so thank you guys and uh, before I forget a very Merry Christmas to all you out there or Happy Hanukkah or whatever else you believe in if you don't believe in anything at all you probably shouldn't be celebrating anything that's just my two cents anyways um, Happy New Year too if I don't see you guys by then and remember if it's bent it ain't broken thanks for watching guys